is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back with some brand new aew action figure news for you guys if you guys did not know if you guys have not been on social media there have been some leaks out there of some upcoming aew unmatched figures man and we're getting into aew unmatched series number two and this is pretty insane man uh, the wave looks pretty solid we're going to get into all the different things we do not have images of ortiz but we do have images of the rest of the set which i'm excited to get into with you so let's go ahead and dive in man these images do come to us from pain.maker.figs on instagram so uh this is where all of these photos come from so a huge shout out to him but uh this is insane man let's go ahead and pull it up as you guys can see you will see them in their clear packed packaging or the you know the little plastic insert that goes into the aew figure packaging you got Tay conti right there you have warlow you have santana you have mjf and you do have sting in there and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all of these man we're gonna get zoom in shots and just take a closer look at all of it so starting out first man let's zoom in and let's take a look at Tay conti so Tay conti is right here now we already know what this figure looks like or we, we already saw the images right or the render images of it but here it is in plastic form and i'm liking what we see here i like the green gear you got the nice metallic going on i like all the pieces that we got going on right here i think the head sculpts look good as far as the you got you know like kind of the bun on top and then you have the hair down version so that's pretty cool i feel like a lot of figures in the set come with two interchangeable heads which is pretty cool but the metallic green attire looks pretty good i like what we're getting right here and everything like that black boots the figure looks solid you know this is kind of a this isn't the most clear image and it's obviously going to come out to you know how the print is because you guys know that my brit baker from my unmatched series one was a little bit misaligned with the print so hopefully my print with the take conti will be a lot better i would guess that the unmatched series 2 should be coming in any any week now you know like honestly it should be any week now because these images are out with the plastic inserts and i'm sure that we're going to get official images coming soon from my boy matt so i don't know man this is something that i think we're going to get very very soon but take Conti's looking pretty good i like what we got going on right here let's move on to the next figure in the set which is going to be santana and santana's looking pretty good i like the head sculpts right here i think these head sculpts look just like santana you do have the straight face to the determined pissed off head sculpt and then you do have the yelling head sculpt which is always appreciated See, this is what I think, like, I, I honestly feel, obviously, they're not probably going to give this to every single figure, but I think we're kind of entering into an era here where I think every figure should come with, like, a pissed off expression and a straight determined expression, especially with figure photography and pick fetting and all these things kind of growing and growing as the days go by. You know, I, I love that we're getting interchangeable head sculpts with all these different figures. Marvel Legends does it. I know we've, we've got them with WWE figures. We've had them with AEW figures. So just seeing this rolling out and rolling out is really, really nice. And I always appreciate two interchangeable head sculpts. I think the tattoos look good. You have his uh, camo gear and orange. And you can't really see the camo gear, which is kind of unfortunate. I wish we had better looks of the camo gear because I had some fix-ups in mind. But I do like the orange coming down with the, you know, this is pretty much kind of like a repaint of his first figure. You know, he's got the overalls going down. You have the camo going on instead of the all-black gear. So we do get a little bit of a different look for our Santana. But I do like the way the figure looks. Can't wait to see what it looks like in package. Again, we don't have, a, we don't have an image of Ortiz so that's that but Santana is looking pretty good next figure in the set guys is going to be Wardlow and again back at it with the interchangeable head sculpts you guys can see we have a straight slash like determined pissed off Wardlow and then we have a yelling Wardlow which which fits in for me right I mean that's that's kind of what Wardlow does he's either pissed off or he's yelling at you so Wardlow looks pretty good right here we'll have a big beefy manager type he does have his uh you know his MJF style lion logos on the sides there to match our MJF figure. He is in the black and green and silver singlet. Kind of a boring gear, but Wardlow, you know, he's not about the gear, right? He's not about the gear. He's about coming out there and, and murdering you. So Wardlow's looking pretty good. I'm excited to get a Wardlow. Kind of like our last missing piece to certain collections, I think. A lot of people want to have that to put beside their MJF figure. So that's a really cool figure now to get with our, our MJFs is a Wardlow. I like the Wardlow. I think it looks good. I mean, maybe the skin tone could be a bit like more tan, maybe, if I had any gripes. He kind of looks a little bit Hail, but nothing too, you know, big with that. But the black and green is looking pretty solid there. The next figure in the set, guys, is going to be MJF. Now, we have seen quite a number of MJFs. You have the, you know, the you have the Series 2. You have the Series 2 Chase. You have the 6-pack or what, that 4-pack that's coming out. You have the Series 6 figure. And then you do have this one coming out. And he's looking all right. I like this head sculpt. You know, he's got kind of got that, like, cocky smirk going on. Kind of that, like, 
you know, asshole smirk going on. He's got like a chin strap beard going on. I, I, you know, it's not my favorite head sculpt. I think the Series 2 is probably still the best one, but it is cool to see another MJF here. I think he's in red. Is he in red gear? I can't remember if he's in red gear. I want to say he's in red gear. It's either, or it's either in black and red or it's red and black. I want to say it's black and red now that I remember it, if it's from the specific event. You do have the rubber coat, which is kind of eh. He has his MJF scarf pattern going down the middle of it, and you know, it would have been really, really cool to see a robe here, like a cloth robe, because we haven't seen a cloth accessory in a minute here, so I'd really like to see that come back into the AEW action figure lines, but uh, you know, it is a, another accessory there, and it is what it is. Another thing that I'm also noticing is that outside of interchangeable heads, I don't think a lot of these figures, I think Santana has interchangeable hands, but I don't think Tecanti or Wardlow have uh, interchangeable hands, and then this MJF, I think, just has the rubber, you know, accessory here, so that is, uh, yeah, you take that with the, what you will, you know, the, whatever you guys think down in the comment section below, I'd love to know what you guys think, but MJF is there, and then the last figure that we're gonna take a look at is going to be the Sting figure. Now, this Sting figure, I, I don't know, man, I really don't know what to say about it. It's not the best angle, but he does come with his rubber jacket. You guys can see he does have his rubber entrance jacket. It's got the gold and black going on with it. He has his AEW t-shirt underneath there. The head sculpt's looking okay. But there are some other images that make this figure just look odd to me. Uh, it's really it's really weird. Now, these images are from a different source here. Now, these images come from Prince of Figures, and I'll say that this figure, I think, is actually the Walmart exclusive Sting, and the unmatched Sting is different than this figure. So, what I'm guessing is that this figure right here, the, the Walmart exclusive that you're looking at here, is going to pretty much be the exact figure that you get with the Unmatched Series 2, except it's not going to have the rubber coat, is what I'm guessing. And you guys will also notice that this one has the half Darby face paint and the half Sting face paint, and then on the Unmatched figure, it is full Sting face paint. So you guys can see kind of the differences here, but the attires are kind of similar, right? And one thing you'll notice about that figure, the, the Walmart exclusive, is it just looks weird, am I right? Like the waist and everything just looks a bit odd to me. I, I guess because it's like a t-shirt covering the belt, but it looks very odd. I, I really don't know what to say about it. It just looks weird um, with all the different texturing and stuff like that and the legs and then the t-shirt mold and all those different things. Head sculpt doesn't look bad. I actually like the head sculpt. The head sculpt doesn't look too bad there. Uh, maybe you could repaint it if you don't really care for it, but I think the mold looks really good. It looks just like Sting, I think. He does have his baseball bat. He's got his AEW Sting shirt on, but I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the Sting figure and all the different unmatched figures here, but Unmatched Series 2 as a whole is looking solid. You guys can let me know if you like AEW Unmatched Series 1 or Series 2 better, but but the Sting figure is an interesting one. Again, you have the Walmart exclusive, which is the more clear images, and then the Unmatched Series 2 one is the one where it is laying down, as you guys saw. So that is the Unmatched Series 2 figure kind of laying there, and I think for sure that it is going to be, you know, this this figure is basically, the Walmart is going to be like a re-release of the Series 2 there, and, you know, just with its slight variations there. And it is Sting, you know, he's been wearing that AEW Sting shirt a lot, so it's kind of difficult to see what kind of looks we're going to get and all those different things, but that pretty much wraps up our AEW Unmatched Series number two images, man. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. You guys can let me know what you think of all those things down in the comment section below. Do you think the figures look good? Do you think they look bad? What is your different things and, and reactions to this wave? I think I'm having mixed feelings. You know, I don't think it's fair to really judge them until we have them in hand, but I am excited to get another wave of AEW figures. Really fun to collect those things. Um, they've created a whole new monster when it comes to collecting for me, so that's all well and dandy, but thank you guys so very much for watching. That is going to wrap up today's video on the AEW Unmatched Series 2 figures. Let me know what you think of all of them down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like uh, that just the, the wait time for these AEW figures. You cross the line, I've been beaten by